but this is uh, what I've got so far. Everything that's torch cut, I cut with the pantograph. Uh, everything that is uh, press broke, uh, basically this box and these two pieces, um, I had to send out and get press broke because my brake will only break 3 16 and this is quarter T1. So uh, these pieces go on top here. And they kind of help keep the dirt out of the, the rams. Uh, this ram was given to me by the guy that um, I got the original pictures from. Uh, his tailgate was made by Lane. Um, or I mean his dump box was made by uh, the Lane Company. They're very similar to the Columbia box, which we're going to be doing this to. I just couldn't part with the $3,000 to give to Columbia to make a high lift gate kit. Uh, that I could do for a fraction of the price. So, so I wanted you to know my reasoning for doing all the work to make the kit where I could buy a kit. So I talked to Columbia Manufacturing down in Portland, and so because that's who made my box, and I wanted a Columbia box kit because it's a Columbia box. Makes sense, right? So, um, I, I saw this one, uh, my friend Darren has one, uh, and we bought a dump truck from him. Long story short, uh, he ended up having a lane box, which is very similar to a Columbia box with the same style of tailgate kit as I'm going to install. Uh, the Columbia one is uh, horizontal instead of vertical, so I'd have to cut the post off of the back where all the lights are. And I really didn't want to mess with all of that. It's fine how it is. Um, and that's that's kind of the reason that I'm doing it this way. Uh, the other reason is I have a huge dent in my box, right where this box goes. The Columbia kit was $3,000. I, I called and I talked to Columbia. That's what the kit cost from Columbia. So I estimate that I have about $600 in steel without the RAM, the RAM's junk, remember? so. The hydraulic pump uh, that I'm going to use to run it all was $200. So there's that. And then these are the new hydraulic rams that I got. Um, well, Jack, why didn't you buy more expensive rams? Because more expensive is always better. Well, let me tell you, friends. The reason that this one is bent is because uh, if you forget to unlatch the tailgate and you run the hydraulic pump, it bends the ram. And then the ram's bent and it leaks. So it wipes the seals out and then it leaks and not fast, but it leaks enough to run down the side of your truck and make it look nasty. So you end up replacing these rams often. Uh, so, I mean, Darren was paying, I, I think it was $150 a ram to replace them. I found these on eBay for $88 a piece. So. I'm always trying to get the most out of my money. Probably not the greatest quality, but keep in mind, I'm probably going to bend them. So it's cheaper to replace an $88 RAM than it is to replace a $200 RAM just because I simply didn't flip the switch. So I those are $88 a piece. I had two of them. So that comes to a total of $176 for RAMs. Uh, so I did my math here in the middle and that so for the steel the pump and the ram We're looking at nine hundred and seventy six dollars Okay, and I didn't factor in hose. I have some junk hose from a helicopter project um, That I'm gonna repurpose here and then also I need some controls for the cab the the button on the pump is not going to do the job so we're just going to round this all up to about $1,200. So, I mean, give or take a couple hundred bucks, uh, probably give it a couple hundred bucks. So let's say this comes out to actually $1,500 $1, for a high lift gate.
so turns out a slight problem it's nothing we can't handle so this sticks out about an inch further than it's supposed to uh, we've got it kind of set into the box and Sami cut the slot so um, the other thing is it's not sitting low enough so you can see up, up top here I've got an inch and a half too much up top so I've got to trim the side down to where it will sit down in the bottom I'll show you what I'm running into in the, in the bed all right so welcome back to Jack's death trap part one right so um, we had that bulge in the inside on both sides so that the, the boxes for the high lift gate wouldn't fit so what I done is I torched off the uh, the hinges for the old tailgate and I weld them to the inside of the box and then um, I've put a couple of chain come alongs on it uh, pretty obvious so now I'm gonna heat it and smack it with a hammer a couple of times and see if I can't get it to uh, form up so that I can put the box on it so stay tuned Here's the update. So I have the hinges, this, this big part welded on and I got to cut a little bit off the end so that it will roll around on the female side on the truck. And they're all welded on hundred percent all the way around. And then next order of business is I cut the hook off the middle and I got to weld on this piece of angle uh, to keep the rocks from sitting on the flat spot. 